Now near enough, you leafy screens throw down and show like these you are. Your worthy uncle shall with my cousin, your noble right son, lead our first battle worthy Macduff and we shall take what else remains to do according to our order. Ah! Very well, do we have for the tyrant's power tonight? Make all of our trumpets speak. Give them all breath. Those clamorous harbingers of blood and death. Not fly, but bear like I must fight the course. What she that was not born of a woman? Such a man I am I to fear, or none. What is thy name? Thou'lt be afraid to hear it. No, though thou callest thyself a hotter name than any is in hell. My name's Macbeth. The devil himself could not pronounce a title more hateful to mine ear. No, no, more fearful. Thou liest, abhorrent tyrant with my sword, I'll prove to lie thou speakest. Thou was born of woman, but swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn, brandished by the man that's born of woman. <laughs> Tyrant, show thy face. If thou beest slain with no stroke of mine, my wife and children's ghosts will haunt me still. I cannot strike at wretched kerns whose arms are hired to bear their staves. Either thou, Macbeth, or else my sword with an unbattered edge. I sheath again indeed, there shouldest be. I, by this great clatter, one of greatest note, seems brooded, let me find him, fortune, and I more I beg not. This way, the castle's gently rendered. The tyrant's people on both sides do fight. The noble thanes do bravely in the war, and the day itself professes yours, and little is to do. We have met with foes that strike beside us. Enter, sir, the castle. Why should I play the Roman fool and die on my own sword? While I see lives, the gashes do better upon them. Turn, hellhound! Turn. Of all else, men, I have avoided thee. But get thee back. My soul is too much charged with the blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword, thou bloodier villain. Than terms can give thee out. Yarr! the enchantment enchantment there with thy keen sword and press as make me blood let fall thy blade on vulnerable crests i bear a charmed life which must not yield to one of woman born despair thy charm and let the angel whom thou still has has served tell thee macduff was from his mother's womb untimely ripped <laughs> Accursed be the tongue that tells me so. <laughs> For it hath cowed my better part of man. And be the juggling fiends no more believed. That palter with us in double sense. That keep the word of promise to our ear. And break it to our hope. I'll not fight with thee. Then yield thee coward. And live to show and gaze of time. We'll have thee as our rarer monsters are.
painted on a pole and under writ, here may you see tyrant. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet and be debated with the Rebbe's curse. Though Burnham would become to Dunsinane and now opposed being a no woman born, yet I will try the least. Before my body, I throw my warlike shield, Leon Macduff, and damned be him that first cries, hold enough. Ha! Ha! safe arrived. So must go off, and yet I see so great a day so cheaply bought. Macduff is missing, and your noble son, your son, my lord, has paid a soldier's debt. He only lived but <laughs> till he was a man, the witch no sooner had his previous confirmed in the under unbreaking unbreaking station <laughs> where he fought. But like a man, he died. Then he is dead? I am brought off the field. Your cause of sorrow must not be measured by his for worth. Has he, has he his hurt before? I on the front. Then why God soldier be, let, let be, had I so many soons have hairs, I would then be a fairy death, fairy death, and so he knelt is he's worth more sorrow and now spend for him he's worth no more the say he parted well and has paid his score and so god be with him here he never comes hell king for so thou art behold where stands the usurper's cursed head the time is free, I see thee compass with thy kingdom's pearl that speak my salutation in their minds, whose voices I desire aloud with mine.